got your message, by the way, Jay. I'll bring them both in tomorrow. I've got them. <laughs> Might as well, mate. Yeah. Uh, right. <clears throat> Hello, Kit Heads. We are talking Kit, the home of the greatest football kit content in the whole entire world. You know what time it is. We know what time it is. We are back inside the rank bank, all up in there. We are deep inside the rank bank for another 10 shirts for us to muse over. And well, we've already ranked them, but we rank them kind of on, on this on the show, don't we? So, yeah, we're back for another edition. It is Talking Kit. I am Double A. It is Full Kit Rankers. Yeah, um, just before we start the show, it has, you don't need to worry. There will be no armpits this week. Um, <laughs> there, there has been a public outcry. Apparently, there's four different positions to stop me showing my armpits ever again on screen. Weirdly, two of them were from my mum, which, you know, <laughs> hurt a little bit. But there were no armpits. Well, not from me, anyway. Dom's in Amsterdam, so who knows what's going to happen during the show. Uh, it's a night. <clears throat> but say, uh, saying that, we are truly international th- this episode. You know, they've got We've got Dom, obviously, like I say, in, in Amsterdam. Our guest is on the other side of the world. And sadly, me and Jay are stuck in Manchester. So, you know, who wins really? Who wins really? <laughs> That's what I'd say. That's what I would say. But no, thank you for joining us, as always. If it's your first time talking kit, be sure to smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. That would be nice as well, as always. And just share it with your kit-loving friends. There's a massive community there and we want to be at the heart of it, absolutely. So, yeah, just do all of that and that would be absolutely wicked. So, yeah, let's get into this week's episode. Like I say, gone through the guests pretty much already. I don't need to give these two introductions anymore. They are part of the furniture. Well, obviously, we've got Kit King Dom in a lovely English shirt this evening. How you doing, mate? You okay? Oh, good, yeah. You pay for what you get here and <laughs> you okay. get whatever you want. <laughs> so, if it's armpits on the menu... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm joking, joking, I'm joking. I can pay, I can pay you a five an hour to get an armpit out, mate. That's absolutely <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm all good. I'm uh, I'm Mr. Worldwide, wide, 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 wide for work. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, hence the lovely backdrop. Uh, so God knows what the neighbours will think in the hotel room. Least of all, it'll make a nice change for just I, I, hearing yeah. people awful shit about shirts. Yeah. <laughs> If you don't understand your accent and all I keep hearing is rank, rank, ranking, <laughs> ranking. You might think, what's, what's going on? What is actually going on over there? It's just a normal a normal Wednesday. Over normal there. Wednesday. Um, but no, thanks for joining us. Normal Wednesday. But no, thanks for joining us from across, I say across the world. It's only, I'm, I'm probably, I'm probably close to you. Maybe no longer bus rides. <laughs> That's absolutely true, especially with the traffic in Manchester. Um, but yeah, no, mate, it's good to see you. Thanks for being here. Sorry I couldn't come for a pint the other day. I apologise for that. I uh, feel like I let you down a little bit. You I did. It was... It's all right. You let yourself out <laughs> more than anything else. I did. I know. I, I, I did, mate. Especially now with this. I could have done with a, a guinea. <laughs> a a yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, that's why you're there, I guess. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I should explain. My voice is gone because I was at the, the protest for the Manchester United uh, Villa game. I was I was right at the front as well. I don't know if you there's some pictures. I was what have they got against Villa? Um, <laughs> Comment, mate. <laughs> That's not going to go down well with our guest. No, I, I, I was going to segue into that. You see. Probably because they should be mad at us because we, we robbed Dwight York off him and look what happened there. So it should be the other way around. Obviously, it was against the Glazers. I was at the front of the bloody protest all the way. My voice is suffering now for it, but it was worth it. Well, it'd be worth it if, if they've gone for the Blazers, obviously. Not the Villa fans, that's fine. I'm not getting I'm not saying anything against Villa fans. But no, um, Jay from Retro. Hey, mate. Are you all right? I am good, my guy. I'm good, thank you. I've enjoyed my, my bank holiday weekend. It's always it's always good to have a, a day off work. I've, I've spent the day as well looking at... Um, different holiday destinations for 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 the upcoming trip so yeah i'm in a good headspace i'm not in manchester i'm in italy so it's nice (laughs) i can hear the the rain beating on your window you're definitely in manchester (laughs) (laughs) tell me about it man but yeah i'm good thank you oh amazing thanks for being here as well obviously no no sean this evening but jay you know as our sort of 
unofficial, no, you're not unofficial, you are our fourth ranker because we're every week, obviously, a lot of the time behind the, behind the scenes. Um, but no, thanks for stepping in and being here, mate. It's a, it's a pleasure as always. Thank you, man. Let's, let's get our, our last guest on. Then. It's, it's, a, it's a, I don't even know what to say, it's just a great person. So I want another welcome addition to the ever growing Kithead community that we're trying to grow here. You know, you see him all over the socials. Like Dom said, massive Villa fan. Recently quit his job to do football content full time. So I'm interested to know who he goes to when you know he's getting sexually harassed at work because that must be awkward conversations to be had. Is that what Jay's doing to you? <laughs> I'm just saying when you work when you work for yourself, you know, does he have to give, does he have to give himself tellings off if he's not cracking the whip? He's not working hard enough. He has to tell himself off. I don't know how it works. It's all interesting. I like to work for myself, so it's good to get some insight into the, my hopefully my future. But anyway, enough about me. Let's get another great content creator on, great person in the football space and kit space because he has some some absolutely amazing football shirts on, on show in, in his videos. He's wearing one tonight as well. He's mixed it up. You know, he's come prepared for, for the theme as well. It's the lovely, it's the great Jack Grimsey. Evening, mate. You okay? Hey guys, delighted to make my debut on Talking Kit. Thank you for having me. Thank you for all the plaudits. And you know, when I when I have an HR situation, I just uh, I just go straight to Fergie and say, "How much time should we add on?" <laughs> he says, "All right, plus 12. Yeah, fair. <laughs> fair. That's fair. That's that's a nice early, nice early Man United joke. It's okay. It's good. Uh, fair play. Good to see you in the protest yesterday. I mean, I was I was saying we want Glazers in, but uh, from my side, it's a <laughs> it's a positive situation. I was, I was, I was going to say, all right, Jack. I, I owe my hands up. That's one nil to you, but it was one nil to us, wasn't it, yesterday? So, I'll just... yeah, yeah, you got that. On, you got that one over us, fair. I've been, <laughs> but, I've oh, yeah. been really impressed with Ten Hag. I mean, I'll just leave it at that. We can go on to the kids, but been really impressed with Ten Hag. Yeah, same, same. Here. Emery as well, mate. His first win was against us. So you were on that nice, decent. Well, it's nice for us to kind of bookend it and finish it. To be fair. <laughs> <laughs> But no, mate, thank you so much for coming on. It is, like I say, it's an absolute pleasure to be able to talk some kit with you uh, this evening. I say this evening to us, it's not. It's afternoon for you, isn't it? So it's a bit... A bit of a, a yeah, edg edging towards that area, but yeah. Brilliant. All right, and yeah, like, thank you so much for coming on. Well, before we get into this week's theme, let's get our admin. I have to, contract, contractually obliged, especially with, with Jay from Retro here. I've got to kind of talk about it, otherwise I get, I get brought into HR. Uh, yeah, 10% off orders with retro football kits using the code Talking Kit 10. Uh, as I say, you know, we are sponsored by, by the lovely people over at Retro. Because of the bank holiday weekend, I've not been able to go and pill for their stock this week and get a lot of shirts dedicated to the theme. But I think I've done okay. I've got two shirts the person would have worn and one just because I love it. Uh, but yeah, make sure you head over to Retro Football Kits using code Talking Kit 10 and get. A lovely cheeky little discount off all those glorious, glorious football shirts. That's all we need to say. There we go. We're back. So this week's theme is simply 10 shirts from David Beckham's career. Well, you know, we've not done a player specific episode since the the, the Ronaldo one. Now that looks a little, a little bit like we're favouring United players or ex Real Madrid players. No, you might think that. That's not the case. It's simply because it was his birthday yesterday, and that's the reason why. I thought, why not? You know, keep up to date. Jay is constantly doing the birthday post. I thought it adds it, it ties him into something he loves, something we I love. love <laughs> <laughs> and I remember, I remember Beckham scoring a beautiful goal against Villa one time. So it brings Jack in as well. So you know, everyone's involved in this show this week. <laughs> so yeah, we've got we've got ten shirts. From his career. The way I've done it, it doesn't work in two of the clubs, but he it, it wasn't there long enough. I've picked a shirt from his first season with the club and then a shirt from his last season. So that works for uh, United, Real, uh, LA Galaxy and obviously England. And just one shirt from PSG and Milan. So it works out quite nice. I mean, there's a nice range of kits in there. And the scoring, the scoring's kind of tell that as well. Uh, there's definitely one loser and there's definitely one winner. Um, also, as well, the first time this has happened is two uh, joints. So there's two shirts that are joint something. Loads it. <laughs> I know. I, 
<laughs> see, see all the messages you were sending before, mate. To be fair. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, so we've got ten shirts from David Beckham. I don't. Oh yeah, I don't rank anymore. By the way, I am no longer a ranker. I um, mean, man. That's, that's it. <laughs> Hannah, Hannah said no more ranking for you. That's it. You're done. So I have to pass it over. Uh, so we've got the amazing Paul Fitber shirts. He has kindly rank these shirts. So every every week now we'll have uh, the three rankers on screen. Jay, if Jay's here, or, or Sean will have ranked off screen. And then we get an extra person from the community to get involved as well. So, yeah, we're spreading it even more. And I don't have to rank anymore. So, yeah, that's uh, all good. Right, let's get into this week's uh, 10 shirts then. Yeah, we may as well. And, yeah, coming bottom, dead, at dead bottom. I mean, it's not even a question. 13 points overall. Kind of tells you exactly what the rankers thought of it. Uh, and it's the last club he played for, uh, David Beckham. It is PSG. And their third shirt from 2012-2013. And uh, I'll just look at my lovely notes. Kindly helped by chat GPT, I have to say. Uh, thank you for Jay for, for introducing me to that. Uh, so, yeah, for PSG, he, he literally only played uh, 10 games, uh, scored... Scored no goals with two assists. I don't know whether it's me not remembering right or, or clearly not, but it seemed like you know, obviously his last ever game he was crying uh, on the pitch and stuff. Because of that, it makes you think like he was at PSG for ages, like and he had a long, long-standing career. It was actually because it was his last ever game. He played ten games for him, which is which is nothing really. Do you know what I mean? I think I could play ten games for PSG. Um, I'd have the fans crying rather than myself. Uh, if we did that now, but no, you know, Becky, like I say, he called his time there. This is their third shirt for this season. I, I quite like this shirt, which is the reason why I put it in. I clearly don't know a lot about shirts because the rankers absolutely disagreed with me. One person who didn't, and he had it the highest, was as you can imagine, Sean in sixth place. Um, <laughs> and Paul Fitber shirts had it in, he had it in ninth. And he said, probably the worst PSG kit Beckham wore looks like a training shirt. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Paul. Um, some nice notes there. Hint, hint, Jay. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, let's uh, go through the rest of our rankers to see what they think. Let's start off with the person who had its second highest was, was Kit King Dom in, in eighth place. Do you agree with Paul in, in it's a bit of a, a training shirt? Yeah, it's just a bit of a washout. Um, I think obviously with the banding across the chest, it's it just seems a bit wrong with PSG. Um, yeah. And I think yeah, they've they've certainly had a lot better. The fact that it looks worse as a full kit doesn't help either. Uh, I, I usually look for that to be a bit of a saving grace, something yeah. that I can pin some kind of some plaudits on. But no, no nothing doing. Uh, it was it, it, yeah, look. It's it's awful. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad as a full. What what? Why is it <laughs> bad as a full kit? What's blue? Would blue shorts make it better? Would red shorts make yeah. it better? Yeah, dark shorts, light socks, um, would would have been a bit better. Something to maybe go onto the sleeves. I don't know. Way eh? just yeah, not not not. If it looks like a loading graphic, I don't I don't get it. It looks incomplete. In some degree, and I think, um, yeah, because of the fact that it's horizontal, whereas I'm used to it being vertical, that that band, then yeah, something was off. Something was off. Not him though, obviously. Okay. Well, no, I mean, if anyone's going to make a kit look good, if he can't, if, if Beckham can't save exactly. a kit, it's really exactly. It's, it's really in trouble for you. Uh, okay, that's that's cool. Jay, we'll come to you next because you had it ninth, what one place lower. I mean, usually you see with these PSG kits, that band would be over the sponsor. Uh, being a little high up, is it is it an off, off-putting thing for you with this kit? Um, it, no, the band wasn't really the problem for me. I think I just thought that the design overall was just pretty boring. I think okay. maybe it's we, we have high expectations with PSG. You know, PSG have some of the best kits in the game. Of course, we know that. So, like... Maybe that was maybe I have high expectations and I've just looked at this one and gone, nah, it's not doing much. It's just that's the only design feature there. It also 
because it's such a deep red, like kind of looks the badge and, and the Nike logo kind of get lost a tiny little bit. But yeah, no, I think uh, I just it just didn't do anything to me. That's why I put it so low. I thought I don't exactly hate it, but I don't I never fell in love with it. Oh, that's fine, mate. Uh, and Jack, we'll, we'll come to you last on it because you're at the bottom of, of the pile. You're wearing PSG tonight for the show, but this one just didn't. Hit the right note for you in terms of a kit, David Beckham War. You just on mute. You just on mute, Jack. Yeah, sorry guys. Uh, I think maybe it's a case of like what Jay said, just expectations versus this reality that that we saw from PSG. There's not a lot wrong with it. We saw the full kit, like you said, Beckham makes it look good. Maybe a centralized badge, maybe a centralized swoosh could have could have improved it, but. I think this this temp it's not even a case of a bad template because I think when they did it in blue it looked okay. It's just the case of all white, kind of meh. And there were some good kits. This was a very hard ranking. There were some really good kits in here. Yeah, uh, you know some have to some have to go bottom, I guess. And the fact the fact he played sort of in the night is in the the, the well the, the whole two thousands is when some of the greatest kits you probably ever say were around and he wore a lot of them, it, you know. But I had to pick a PSG and I didn't want to just go for a standard home. So I did go for this. And unfortunately, the rankers shot me down and just said, no, Aaron, we don't agree. It's double A. No, no double A. Not many. The points it got anyway. So it's, it's not that great. In terms of the score from our rankers this week, PSG, third shirt, the very last club. David Beckham, I was trying to get a picture of him crying, but that's just cruel. Especially after he just had a thing to play as well. You know, it's not, it's not nice. Oh, by the way, did anyone see the video of Messi becoming a total fanboy around him as well and grabbing him for a picture? We love to see it, you know what I mean? It's nice, nice when young fans who probably might go on to do things in the game grab these legends. <laughs> and I saw all of them. But there we go then, David Beckham, PSG, 2012-2013, third shirt, coming dead last. 30 points, like we say. Moving on then to the next shirt. And it jumps up a little bit in terms of points. 20 points overall from our rankers. First England shirt that we're going to see. Which one is it? And it is this. It's the England shirt from 2010. Their home shirt. Jay is fuming. I think we're going to have to come to him first. For that very reason. Because I want to get, I want to hear about it. Uh, so I will just go for the rankers that aren't here. Obviously, I think it's fair. Uh, Paul Fitbit shirts. He had this. You won't be happy, uh, Jay. He had it. Oh. Um, uh, but you know he's Scottish, so take that with a pinch of salt, mate. Oh, just that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> but he does say uh, absolutely no design thought whatsoever. The whole strip is boring. And he put right after that, obviously, he's giving me a score. Then I have to go, have a good one. So it's <laughs> that's like, that was his last line. And, have a good one, lads. <laughs> uh, and our good friend, GK Sean, he, he only had it one place better, to be honest. He had it in ninth place. Uh, so, Jay, we will come to you because I feel like this shit may probably need some defending. So let's get it in early because you had it in in fourth place. What was it about this that you do like? Because your face says everything. So, yeah, tell us. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, man. And this is, I thought this was sharp. I really did. I think, I, remember, I remember it at the time thinking it was quite nice. I remember thinking Umbro kind of in that time period was not the best. And this was almost like a, a bit of a, uh, a resurgence like just it's just dead simple but clean it's got the color i always love a color on a kit as you can tell with this one um and then that's and and on beckham as well and the photo that you sent with um with beckham wearing it like i just thought it just looks so sharp there with the red numbers as well like which makes the kit pop out a little bit more without as well you know when you don't see it with a number i just thought yeah, it's just clean sharp england kids i think we've had some tragic ones um, especially in the early 2000s so this one for me just stands out as a nice clean one and yeah I think Beckham makes it look better as well yeah it definitely has that sort of 66 vibe doesn't it about it especially yeah. the long sleeves it definitely throws it back a little bit to I've got to say the glory days but it was literally one glory day that England yeah, just, had. just one good day just that one good day <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jack let, let's come to you because you liked it even more than, than Jay because you had it in third place the tailored, the tailored by Umbro sort of range, okay. whole range is, is 
quite uh, thought of quite fondly by Kit fans. For you then, is this a, a great example of, of what Umbro were doing at that time? Definitely, yeah. I love this one, especially as a as a full kit. I mean that the slide you showed before with just the the shirt, no printing, no lettering in the middle. That that doesn't look as good as as the full kit for me. When and what's going on under the badge? Is it a little it's just, is it yeah, South Africa or yeah? It's it oh, just it's just a, South Africa. I think it, is it the one that was used in the South Africa World Cup? It just says South. Oh, Africa. okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that's that's like a nice little design feature. Obviously, we see the patches on the shoulder, uh, which improves it. Maybe I don't know. You can have either the all white look, or maybe a different color socks could have improved it. But I thought it was very clean. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. It, it does. As like I say, four K. It does look spectacular. So someone who wasn't overly keen at it in ninth place. On his on his list is is sorry, Dom. Everyone else is gone, so it's definitely you. But I didn't know. <laughs> I wonder who it could be. <laughs> yeah. Because I remember this time period with Beckham, and, and you know, it's no slight. I mean, I'll go through. We got an over England shirt, obviously, but I'll go through his his stats and stuff. So number of appearances one hundred and fifteen. I don't know if this is wrong, and I I shouldn't just take AI for its word. But seventeen. He only scored seventeen goals for England. That doesn't seem right, does it, for David Beckham? I mean, he scored one very important one. But 17 goals, surely that's... 33 assists, though. That sounds bang on for him. Yes. Uh, World Cup appearances, obviously, he had three. Um, it's, it's bad. You know you've not done well with your international team. It's listed in what international tournaments you've been in uh, and, and two European championships. Um, and I, I remember this bit when he was like, he was literally just counting up cats by coming on as a 90-minute sub and all this. And... People, he's getting a lot of flack for it. People saying he shouldn't, he shouldn't be doing it, and it's stopping, it's stopping younger players coming through. So, it, that being said, Dom, why is this kit not good? <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think um, this this led on to one of my favourite ever England shirts, the one afterwards, and the the design by it was uh, Jimmy Savile, wasn't it? Um, who designed Peter Savile? Peter Savile. Yeah. Um, it was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think the one after it. I think. I think obviously they were because they'd gone from the one that had like the um, free lions under the arm and the yeah. the uh, umbro a, a bit higher on the shoulder and the um, crest on on the chest. Yeah. I think um, that one was decent, but they they really made a departure from what I think was more for performance to something like this that was that's definitely geared towards um like common fans to to wear and it was i think it peaked the season afterwards and because i'm in so much in love with that one from 2011 uh with the little england multicolored crosses on it uh, across the shoulders yeah. um, and the particular cut of it these if anyone's had a tailored by umbro shirt whether it's england northern ireland anyone that they've had at that time they'll know that they're quite possibly the most comfortable shirts in the world to wear i'd be too inclined to wear this and i know i'd get it dirty because it's pristine to a fault um, so it be it would be wasted on me and for that reason it's just a bit too plain whereas the one afterwards did have a bit more of a like embellished detail on it um and yeah just a bit bit too clean yeah Absolutely. Do you know the away shirt to this, that red one, is the last England shirt I ever owned. It's simply because someone bought it for me, not knowing I support Brazil. So <laughs> somewhere I had to wear it, and someone took a investor of me. It was during the World Cup, and it's kind of like I, so. There's a barbecue at someone's house, and I'm at, or it might have been even my parents' house, and I'm having to wear this England shirt, and it's a picture of me. And I kissed. Him, I mean, kissed. Him. I was drunk. I was like, oh. So, <laughs> luckily, I've scrubbed it from social media, right? But there could be a picture of me kissing an England badge. Somewhere. But you couldn't kiss the badge of this at a barbecue because it'd be fucking filthy straight away. <laughs> well, <laughs> Too clean. Or you, you sauce around your mouth. You? <laughs> Dom, we'll just have AI recreate the image. And then we'll have it. <laughs> no, thank, you. No, thank you. That's going to pop up now, isn't it? No, thank you very much. Uh, but there we go. It's, it's England's... 2010 home shirt, lovely, uh, beautifully worn by David Beckham there, uh, as he finishes England career. Only 20 points from our rankers this week. 
Right, we've got two in joint seventh now, both with 23 points. And the first one is Jack's Neck of the Woods, and it's 2007, and it's the away shirt from LA Galaxy, the first away shirt he wore. I could have gone for the home, but the home is boring. This is, I mean, this ain't great, but that is boring. So I went for another home shirt uh, later on in his career. So this is the away shirt from 2007. When he went over, you could say, I, I, rem I, just put, I remember when he went over there. I remember it being on Sky Sports, the whole... It, it was like... It was almost like Elvis had been reborn. It had come back to life. And it, it was... The hysteria was crazy around that time. And it was like, he's just come to play football in America. It's a bit sunny. It's nothing, you know. But, you know, it is what it is. And, and you know, you can say he's helped the MLS grow a little bit, which which it's become what it is now. And we see we see the, the game growing over there, which is absolutely brilliant. I'm sure you know Jack can can attest to that. So we'll start with Jack on this one. Because uh, he had it in seventh place, which is a good number to have it for David Beckham. No, he didn't. I'm lying. He had it in eighth place. Sorry, Jack. Eighth place for you on, on this one. So for you, obviously... Living over in America, do you remember this time period, Beckham coming over and the hysteria around him joining the MLS and your thoughts on on this away shirt he wore for, for the Galaxy? Yeah, I think like when I when I think of him coming over, obviously it wasn't the very beginning of, of MLS, about 10 years after that, but yeah. still very, very early stage. And you can always tell just by looking at the sleeve patch. I love this. It's like people call it MLS 1.0 from the original era of the league. And you, you see that it was... A little less, uh, almost a little less corporate, a little more playful, a little more, I don't know, penalty shootouts from the top of the 18-yard box. You know, um, I'm not sure those were still still in place when Beckham just joined. But yeah, this this kit, it's kind of funky, right? Like you have you have a lot of those older MLS kits from the turn of the century. I think of like Tampa Bay Mutiny or some of those teams that went defunct, but. Beckham joining LA, they, they became a commercial powerhouse, really. And they've been, I mean, Galaxy were good before Beckham, but they've just been buying stars and stars and stars. And that's been their whole ethos. And of course, it makes sense that, that Beckham went there. Um, but yeah, I like it a little better as a full kit. I think just still the the colors are almost a little a little too funky, but I don't know. It's it's still holds, I think, a fond place in, in the hearts of many American soccer fans. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I think Galaxy with that that sort of deep green and the gold, it, it, that is a nice colour scheme, absolutely. Uh, Sean had this one in in seventh place. He, he got it bob on. And as did Paul, uh, fit the shirts. And he just said, I like the colourway, just not the use of it on the piping. And also the badge is too big for this template of having the uh, Adidas uh logo centralized as well yeah i, I, I can i can see that just see a bit like, close together and the sponsor is a bit too high up as well for me. uh the remaining two rankers uh a very Dom. top heavy shirt <laughs> it, it is yeah you're right it is very top heavy a lot of midriff on show well, not on show uh left uh, left un unused dom though let's come to you uh because you had it in in fourth place you you're a fan of this one yeah, namely the the colorway which you've already mentioned. I think it's it's not a common colorway at all, and it really really works. I think the the piping. Um, whilst I would take the, that or leave it, the Adidas stripes in that color matching with the Adidas logo and the bit around the uh, Galaxy badge, I think work really really well. And I think the you know the tendency is to go too dark with these kind of things, but it's still. Um, contains that that element of that deep green as well which is synonymous with la galaxy so i think i think that was used really really well uh the mls patch one of the better patches that we've seen and everyone uh, adores the full kit as well particularly with the long sleeve obviously we know he can make anything look good to be fair but i think the the tie-in with the herbalife sponsor being white and going with the you know elements of the crest and the numbering um, it works all together really, really well. So, yeah, I think it's really pleasing on the eye. I think the the arch, I think it's not too dissimilar to the new Nike Nike template that everyone hates. This oh, yeah. kind of has that a little bit, yeah. but then it's got colour on it as well, which, which detracts away from what could be a bit of an irksome detail. 
across that arch, across the chest, and it's a bit a bit higher as well. So, yeah, I think that um, you you can look away from that, and there's enough about it to to be pleased with. Yeah, uh, and Jay, finishing off with you on this one, it was sixth place for you, um, so not not too too far off. Better than the whole, I'm sure you'll agree. Well, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice shirt overall, you, you, the middle of the road, but it was it was a lot worse in, in the list for you. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I agree with everything Dom just said. I, I love the colours. I think the way they match the badge really well as well, like the badge that. The Adidas and then like the kit all itself works really well together. I think literally everything that you guys said is bob on. And the only thing I didn't like was the fact that the Adidas is centralized and the badge isn't. And whenever I see that, it kind of throws me off. It throws off the feng shui of the kit. So that's the only bad point I actually have to say about this kit. Everything else, I love the colors, the color, the badge, everything's sick other than just that. That's the only reason why it was a little bit lower on my list. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, this would be early team guys, I'm guessing. 2007, 2008 would have been team guys there. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, obviously, I think a lot of people have bad thoughts about not that they keep you up at night, I guess. Well, that depends how much you love kits. But, you know, could be. There we go. <laughs> That's the uh, 2007 away shirt from LA Galaxy. I've got stats about LA Galaxy, but let's leave them for the, for the, the next shirt that we see uh, on our list. Uh, but yeah, 23 points overall. The first shirt of our joint seven. The next one is this. That's David Beckham, but no, it's this. It's the 2002-2003 third shirt for Manchester United, obviously using that. Uh, Don, was this was this Total 90 as well, this template? Was this class of the Total 90? So no, mm, I think this is like third generation Total yeah. 90, which... Yeah, yeah. obviously the, the ones after are famous for the T90, but... Yeah, I think they disowned it by that point. <laughs> but yeah, this is obviously the first shirt. Classic blue uh, and the silver. Going through our rankers, let's start with Sean, who had this in, he had it in fourth place. Um, he, he obviously liked this a little bit. And Paul, he, he's done a J. Um, he's had it in eighth, third, uh, dull, lazy design. That, yeah. <laughs> It's a great well, description for Paul. Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> That's not your wheelhouse. Uh, from the rankers that I hear, Jay, let's kick it off with you on, on this one. Uh, not being a United fan, obviously, being Chelsea, but it's, it's almost a Chelsea blue. Mm. Good to get your thoughts on it. And you had it in uh, eighth place, though. So for you, then, what was, what was kind of missing? <laughs> yeah, man, I do, I do like United in blue kits. I think there's been some, obviously, some famous ones over the years, like the Snowflake and that uh, 93 one with all the names on it as well. Like there's some famous United blue kits. I do think it, it's kind of works every now and then, but design wise, there's just nothing there. Is there? That's the only reason why it's been put down so far for me. Like overall, it, it's a nice looking kit and it definitely works, but there's nothing for me to say, oh, but it has this to push it up the list. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't have that one thing. Like you see the light, the white bits there or the blacks on the on the collar maybe but other than that it's not enough for me to tell you that this is an amazing kit that's the only reason why it's so low on my list fair enough it's silver but it's fine my bad um, my bad no that obviously was the template the home shirt is literally the same isn't it it's mm. just with, with black uh, and white on it uh, Jack we'll, we'll come to you on, on this one as well fill a fan so again not not a team from England you're overly fond of, but um, you did get it. You got it in it spot on this week, uh, seventh place. You put it in again. Are you, are you a fan of United in blue? And this was this template something you liked or do like more? Yeah, United? again, I don't I don't mind United in blue. Like like what Jay's saying, and I agree too. If it was going to color match the collar with the other silver trim on the shirt, or to match the sponsor and the the sleeve trim, you know, I think there was potential there. Yeah. Um, it's a nice sponsor. Vodafone's a nice sponsor, and it's it's simple. It's not like a kit that did try to do too much and wasn't able to do it. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure it would probably look better with some vintage Premier League patches. And if it has a if it has a good print on the back, it could look great. Like right there, uh, and as the full kit with the shorts, the shorts have that silver on it too. I think that makes it look better. But and long sleeves, I think, always makes it look better. But it came off a little bit generic for me. Yeah. Fair. 
fair one there, mate. Uh, I, I bought this shirt recently from my dad um, with a run on the back with the pre- the Champions League font. It's a it's a touch. It is a touch. I, I do like this shirt. I do, I do love United in blue. And I, the silver just added something for me a little bit for this one. Uh, Dom, we'll finish with being a United fan. It's funny being a United fan. How, uh, it's just funny being a United fan. That's all, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... You know, you think the United sponsors recently, the, t- the team viewer gets a bit of flack for having their logo. Uh, obviously, Chevrolet was hated by United fans for their logo. But Vodafone, you know, it's one of the ones that's got its big logo on the top of it. Never got any hate for that. It's funny how that that got that slid, maybe because it wasn't in the Glazer era, I guess. But... <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on this shirt? And obviously, David Beckham's last season, it's the last blue shirt he wore for the club. None of that means anything. But what do you think about it, Tom? I'm interested. Because you had this one in fifth place. Overall. Yeah, a bit bittersweet for me, this one, uh, with it being his last blue kit. Um, it'd be, yeah, I think there was parts of it, obviously, as, as said previously, uh, United in blue, for me, really, really works. Um, a treat. I think the shorts, which have got the silver and black pipe in, I think is if that was introduced across the shirt on the side paneling and maybe the collar and cuffs as well, it would work a little bit better. And whilst I'm always, as you know, up for you know the badge being the forefront of the shirt, the main main prominent feature, I think now we've got more of a tendency to go for like monochromatic kits and and toning down the badge for away shirts or, or third kits. I'd be interested to see what this would have looked like with a with a silver United badge and the way that that uh, application is with the Vodafone on this particular shirt being like plasticky, like TPU. I think if the badge was like that as well, I think that that might have scored it a little bit higher for me, but the, the kind of the, well, the similarity to the home shirt as well. I think I, I always like it when there's a bit of synergy across, across home and away kits uh, or third kits if they're introduced as well. So, Always plus points for me that, and yeah, I think as with him, as we we're gonna say time and time again here. Um, and I, do you know what I find myself doing? Judging the shirts, not just based on the shirt, not just based on the season, not just based on him, mainly based on his hairdo at the time. I knew he was gonna say that. I yeah. Knew that was coming, yeah. And I was a big fan of this one. <laughs> really? You had, this one. you had you had that. I, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> you want that there, dude, mate. I know you did. I'm, I've seen you cutting about Dean's gate like this. I know. I, I knew I knew you from somewhere. You all Saints tops on. Oh, you tits <laughs> on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you know what's weird? I look. I'll just look down randomly, and I've got a pair of like uh, a United goalkeeper, a goalkeeper shorts, and it is the United badge in like a black and grey or so. Oh. And it does look sexy. And I think if it was on that shirt, it does jump up a little bit. But no, there we go. It's Manchester United's 2002-2003 first shirt. It's very final season for Manchester United, which ended as a Premier League champion, as you would expect, yeah, being the Sir Alex Ferguson era. Uh, but 23 points overall, right, sixth place on our list. Let's go into it. 24 points, only being it by one. And it's his first season at Real Madrid. With their home shirt, uh, the rankers are on here. Sean had it in fifth place, and Paul got it absolutely spot on in, in with six. Uh, ho- uh, nothing much to love or hate, but it's instantly recognisable. Siemens was a, a great sponsor. Uh, I tend to agree. Uh, Jay, let's start with you uh, on this one, and uh, fifth place for you. So just one place uh, higher than it, where it's ended up. Again, he's right, Paul. You look at this, and it's not even Beckham you think of. You think of Zidane, Figo, all the you know the the Galacticos as they were known back then. Does that make it a great kit, though? The people that are in it for you. Yeah, you know what I mean. It definitely helps, doesn't it? It definitely helps because the 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 reason why a kit will stand out is because of moments or special memories, and players you know feed into that, don't they? And you know me. Be, being a kid in this time, like seeing those superstars at Real Madrid, it was very, um, it was it was just amazing to see. It was it was it was very like you know kind of 
you know, stars in your eyes kind of thing. And that kit just instantly reminds me of that straight away. And Beckham was a part of that. Um, and yeah, this, that's why I think I've rated this kit to a, a bit higher there because again, maybe contradicting myself a little bit, there's not loads going on with this kit other than the Adidas stripes there, which I do re- love anyway. But that's, you know, a very common theme. But yeah, I think the fact that the team, the superstars, what the Galacticos, the all white of Real Madrid with those black accents. Yeah, I think it, it kind of ties into everything, doesn't it? And this kit, yeah, I, I, I do like a simple white and black uh, Madrid kit as well because they, you know, sometimes play with different accent colours, which is great as well. But the, the the white and the black look is really imposing here. Yeah, absolutely. Don, uh, come to you. Obviously, you might not like it as much because he, he'd left United and he, he joined Real Madrid. We missed out on Ronaldinho. It was a shit summer, mate, wasn't it? It was the worst summer ever. Uh, although we did get Ronaldo. So, you know, you know, small graces. And I guess he was all right. But for you... With this, I mean, it, you talk about hair with this, and he had that rubbish. <laughs> that, he's got it tied back there, but he had that rubbish samurai thing, didn't he, going on when he when he joined? I think that was that Pepsi advert. This was one of my favourite ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course it was. Of course it was. <laughs> uh, yeah, when we had when we had lockdown, <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, I look like Prime Beckham. I look like a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope, um, I, hope, I hope them people. I hope them people in that next room are hearing you say that. There, man. <laughs> Pure, it'll be banging on in five. No, no, it is. It is. Um, it's it's classy. This one, I really like it. And the only thing I'm not mad keen on is the uh, mobile part of Siemens Mobile, uh, particularly the red bit. Uh, and it's 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 when you having to find bits to dislike. You know that a kit. On its, you know, on its own standalone is is decent, um, but it's not anything more than that. I don't think. Uh, I think it could be a little bit better, but that's literally about it. I, I even like the little pen mark down the collar. Um, looks. I don't know what it's for, but it looks good. Uh, I'll take it. Yeah, but other than that, yeah, it's literally just the M on the on the mobile. They had Siemens on its own as a standalone wording. Yeah. Um, I think a couple of seasons afterwards, and it immediately elevated the shirts. Yeah, I've got a bit of the AIA about it, you know, but you see a lot of sponsors now do let, allow teams to change it a little bit. Do you think if it had been a gold or a purple colours synonymous with Real? So, yeah, just just all black or anything that tied in with the with the crest as well would have been a nice touch. And I, I don't get obviously I understand from branding or marketing points of view that they want to maintain brand recognition but i think it would be more provocative to to do that or to change the colorway up and it would register on a few more people's uh brainwaves if it if it did so yeah i don't, don't, see, I don't see why they don't don't want a nitpick mate but the, the crest has got red on it yeah all right <laughs> <laughs> yeah but no, i don't i i don't <laughs> I agree. No, I, I agree what you're saying. Absolutely. Uh, Jack, let's let's finish off with you because for you, it, it, it wasn't that great. It was in ninth place on, on your list. So, yeah, what wasn't you feeling regarding this, this shirt for Real Madrid and Beckham? Yeah, maybe a tad harsh now that, I, now that I look back at it again, but it's not a kit that really blew me away. And... You know, maybe that's, that's Real Madrid classic and traditional and you're going to get a lot of that same style but it just seems like not a not a lot of experimentation the color is nice i do i do like that touch there and uh, maybe the sponsor is is what throws it off for me but it's not a bad kit again this was this was a very difficult ranking yeah i i, I, I can see that it's, you know it's scores the scores signify that some mid-range some, some lower but overall it comes six on our list 24 points real madrid his first season at real madrid um, and they didn't win any. They didn't win the Super Cup that year. They won no trophies besides the Spanish Super Cup. So all them, all them Galacticos and, and doing nothing with it. It's almost like Arsenal this season, isn't it, mate? Do you know what I mean? Uh, I knew Jay. I knew Jay would love that one. They love that. One was <laughs> that one was Jay. Uh, moving on, then let's go to number five on our list. Twenty-five points from our rankers this week. Back over to LA. And it's their home shirt from 2012. Getting 25 points. Um, you'll find out why in a minute. 
Tom. I'm shaking your head a little bit. <laughs> we'll, find, we'll find out why in a minute. Uh, Jack, we, fin- we finished with you on the last one. Let's start with you on, on this one. Um, it was fourth on your list overall. I mean, I went I went for this one simply because of that sash. It's something different. You know, you see it a lot more. But, you know, the, the ones from 2007, it was very much like the away, but, you know, less sexy. For you then, this one, is it? It's a it's a great it's a great um, LA Galaxy home shirt. You feel? Yeah, I think so, and I think maybe just because of the end of the Beckham era. Look at how many stars they added since he joined. I think there, there's so much going on yeah. uh, in that in that corner of the shirt, and really, I th- like I like these small details, like the inside of the collar, those stars from the badge up there. I think that's nice. Maybe you don't see it on the outside, and. Just doing something something creative with the underlying pattern within the sash, I think adds a lot. The Herbalife here is a little more subtle than I think on that first Beckham shirt we looked at. Yeah. Um not a huge fan of all the all the navy trim going every which way, but as a full kit, I think it works really well. Yeah, no, we'll have to take a look at that in, in a sec. And uh, just going through the rankers that aren't here. Uh, Paul had it in fourth place. A flag deal makes it quite like the design on the sash too. And uh, Sean had it in second place, Tom. <laughs> second place. Of yeah. course he did. As, as you would imagine. As you would imagine. Fit. Also, you know, Jack mentions the the stars. But, it, you know, back then you could buy a shirt with the stars without adding on another £100. So that was really nice. <laughs> Especially yeah, fans of LA Galaxy back then. I think we'll save you, Dom. I feel like you've got a lot to say about this. Shit. So, Jay, let's come to you. You had it, the same score as as Dom, though, in, in, in 10th place. Just, just, I'm going to say you don't like the fact that the sash cuts out for the sponsor. Like, yeah, mate, you, you know me well. Yeah, that, I, don't, I don't like that. I think there's just a bit too much going on. Like there's individually, there's some really nice elements here. Like the taping's nice, the sash is nice, but then it's broken up. But like, and I like the overlapping color. I always love that that design. But when you add it all together, there's just too much. There's just so much. And the fact that there is a design in the sash, which for me, it's, it's kind of cool, but it's it's I, I don't know. It, it just adds to that kind of mess of, a, of visually. There's just too much going on right in your face in that, in that moment. I'm so that's why I kind of put it low. I'm, I might have been a little bit harsh. I do think the PSG kit was probably worse, but yeah, look at like I mean they've added like different patches on there as well. There's just so much going on, man. It's such a an, uh, an they even amazing... added more printing and another ba- th- this yeah. one has so much. <laughs> <laughs> so much going on. Yeah, it's busy. It's it's very busy. That's the oh, word. It's, it's too busy, isn't it? I think if you took away the 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 design in the sash and had like the overlapping collar and the Adidas, it's nice. But yeah, there's just too much. He's got a lesser star as well. <laughs> Maybe he's, he's got the, he's got the replica. <laughs> they ran out. Of him, mate. He's got two less stars. Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. He's happy about it. He's happy about it. Though. Did you like that hairstyle, though? Oh no, no. Uh, that's probably why I put this as low as I did. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, just before we go to Dom, uh, so 118 appearances, scored 20 goals, 42 assists. Uh, obviously, MLS Cup titles 2011 2012, uh, Supporters Shields titles 2010 2011. Uh, yeah, 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 a good career over in LA. So, Dom. That being said, it was bottom of your list as well. Tell us why you didn't fancy this one at all. This wasn't, you know, on your walk of fame. It was in your walk of shame. It was indeed. So they've said, right, what should we do for the design? Should we do this? Should we do this? Should we do this? Should we do this? And someone has made the executive decision and has gone, yeah, do it all. <laughs> do it all. In the mix. Come on. Yeah. Oh, I don't. It's, and I'm not surprised Sean's got it that high because he's an absolute space cadet. And this looks like something from fucking NASA FC, especially with that, that big star spangled banner on the side as well. Like yeah. you could shoot this off into space for all I fucking care. I hate it. I think the, 
the fishnet gradient sash. Um, it, oh, it, no, <laughs> yeah, I talking think. Of, talking of fishnets, you're in that neck of the woods tonight. I thought you were about it higher. <laughs> oh no, absolutely not. Um, yeah, the the V neck collar, I'm never a, a, a massive fan of. The fact that yeah. it's overlapping it, it does work well on on shirts that have got a bit less to say than this. Whereas this one's just fucking screaming at you, and I yeah. can't. I can't hack it. I just want to tell it just to chill out a little bit, like calm down. Um, <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. It's like the, for... the, the expendables of shirts are just too much, too much, too much thrown together to make yeah. something work. Hundred percent, absolutely. Royal Rumble. Rumble. That film and, if I did not say fucking Royal Rumble, Expendables. <laughs> I've never even watched Expendables. Why are you even? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. There we go. That's uh, David Beckham's final shirt for LA Galaxy, the 2012 home shirt. Fifth on our list this week with a total of 25 points. Right, we've got two shirts, joint third now as well. Like I say, first time that's happened, two shirts, or four shirts becoming joint something. I don't know. There's a way of saying it. I don't know. Um, they both got 32 points overall. So the first one that we're going to look at is this, and it's the last shirt he wore for Real Madrid. And it's this, come on, short back and go away. It's the away shirt from 2006 and 2007. Definitely that team guys looking uh, template on this one. I don't think Jay's going to be happy or Dom because it's got Ben Q on top of the season now as well. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's go through the rankings at hand here. Uh, Paul Fitba shirts had it in third. Uh, he said, the shirt I own and just like, I'd be surprised if it does well though. Well, you've got it bang on, Paul, to be fair. It seems like it was universally liked. Uh, Sean had this in eighth place uh, overall. Three was actually had it all in in third place. Je uh, Don, we'll, we'll start with you on this one. And um, yeah, third for you, despite having a, a worse sponsor than the first one, you hypocrite. No, no. <laughs> the, the Siemens Mobile had the red on it, which was as a bit on the badge. Um, <laughs> it was still a bit, it just didn't tie in well enough. Um, okay. And I think okay. this one, they thought, well, let's just not play silly buggers. We'll have just it all white. They didn't do it on the home one. So the home one's the same template, which I like the template home and away. Um, yeah. But the home bank or whatever it is. That was in purple. So they did at least make the effort. And I'm yeah. glad they didn't with this because it would have, it, it would have, I don't know, it would have pissed me off a little bit. And I'm sure that's what they were thinking about when they were designing it. But I think the, the black and so much white, I think works really, really well. Um, so I can, I can, it's palatable for me, this. And I think the, the template itself, whilst there was a lot of teams that used it, I think this, a black kit with white accents always looks good. Um, and it, it, yeah, for me, was very, very good. Okay, that's, uh, that's good to know. Jack, come to you on, on this one. A sixth place for you overall. Was you a fan of the team guys template? How, how did you find that in shirts? And, and do you think they've, they've mastered it well on this shirt? I like the template. I'm not I'm not super familiar with it. I couldn't tell you a ton of other teams that use it off the top of my head, but I think it looks nice, especially with the three-stripe piping down the sleeves. It's balanced well. You have the, the club crest, and I don't know if that's some other kind of competition logo or what that is opposite it, but, but like the stacking of the sponsor is nice. I just think the sponsor is a little close to the badge for how big it is. Like if we bump that down little bit, it, it could do more, but I think as a full kit, it looks pretty good as well. Yeah, let's have a look at that for you. I mean, yeah, yeah. that's yes. that's nice. That's nice, cool. especially some white boots with black accents. That's amazing. Yeah. I think he makes that look sexy, though. He, he's look, definitely Capello. Yeah. 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 Capello would look all right even wearing that kit <laughs> at that yeah. time. Tucked in as well. Oh, come on. Yeah, he looks good, doesn't he? Did you like that, uh, Dom? Did that I thing? did, I. Did, yeah. yeah. All right, fair, fair one, fair one. Um, who, should, who wants to go there? Uh, Jay, third for you as well. I mean, if they got rid of their BenQ, the Ben 10, and also had Siemens on there, it, it, it's better, in it, already. But would you a fan of it? Do you like it? I guess you yeah, do. Yeah, 
good. For sure, for sure. It's so good. But on the sponsor, I think, yeah, I mean, what like Don said, the fact that it's all white, you can just about get away with it. But if you imagine you did get rid of it and made Siemens a bit bigger, that would look fire. It's a sexy kit, man. I think every, every all the lads have smashed it, you know, black with the white accents, the curves, the way that it looks on as well, the curves kind of go down the body like Dom's doing there. It, it just works, man. The Adidas strokes on the shoulders, I, oh, I just love Adidas strokes myself. Um, the only thing that kind of annoys me is the collar. I've got, weirdly, I've got an, an Oldham shirt that has that collar and um, it it annoys it just wearing it, it's annoying it you kind of you can kind of feel that little curvy bit there just just touching you it's a bit annoying but other than that yeah it's a sexy kit man and as a full kit there you can see the socks and the adidas continuing down oh beautiful yeah it's uh the adidas wet dream i mean beckham wear that kit especially you know wearing mm -hmm. adidas boots as well i know what you mean about the the, the team guy stuff I, I say i don't like it and i went and bought the ajax one that they brought <laughs> back out yeah, um, so it does. I know what you mean by the color, but I mean, it, I, obviously, I like Barcelona, so Real Madrid isn't really a team that I, I say nice things about usually, but yeah, it is a nice shirt. It, it's nice, it's made by Beckham, and it that's what it is. That's also, I think, um, you know, we, I mentioned earlier the, the Adidas being centralized, yeah, and now that's annoying, but because of that other badge on the on the left, which I don't know what it is, but it just it does balance everything else a bit better, as if that wasn't there. This would definitely be less of a good kit. Yeah, absolutely. I was trying to think what it was, but it was not a Champions League one. So. Is it the Club World Championship? It looks like a hot air balloon. I was okay. thinking that. But I was like, they didn't win the Champions League. They didn't go to hot air balloon that year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, let's just say that's what it is. Hot air balloon champions of Spain. I have to have a look at the record books. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but that's David Beckham in his uh, Real Madrid 2006-2007 away shirt. Final shirt. Yeah, he wore for the club, in which he made 159 appearances, 20 goals, 51 assists, won the league title, which is absolutely crazy if you think about it, at that time, that time period that he was there for, uh, and won um, Supercopa de España as well in 2003. 32 points, like I say, joint third. Moving on to the second shirt, that is joint third, 32 points. This ain't going to go down well, I don't think, in this, in this group. This it's the England away shirt <clears throat> from 1996. The first shirt he wore. I had to put this one in. I mean, I had to. It's, you know, it's the iconic England shirt. Uh, one I did on as well as, as a child. Uh, this was. Do you know why this comes? This comes so low, <clears throat> and I'll get it out early so everyone can go mad. This was Sean's bottom shirt, everyone. Oh, what? Oh, you see, he always. Sean had this. Sean had this bottom. I don't know why. Why is he? Do you know what? He's actually requested to send me a video or something. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I can't tell you. Uh, Better be a fucking apology. Do you know what? That's so wrong. Should we ring him? <laughs> Please. <laughs> like, genuinely so upset. Like, the bottom. Yeah. PSG, PSG, that PSG kit exists, and this is bottom. Like anyone's going to hand him that and this and go, what yeah. would you have? And he's, in all honesty... You've got a crime to answer here because we, we're currently ranking the shirts. We're on shirt joint third with 32 points. Your bottom shirt was the England 1996 away shirt. We yeah. need to know why you've done that. Because it reminds me of the Grey United away kit and... Um... Just never seen one like it before in England setup. I don't like it's it. It's unique. Plain. I don't like the collar. No, no sorry, I didn't mention Germany once in in that. <laughs> Nothing to do with uh, you know heartbreak and and trauma. It just because it reminds me of United, who you support, by the way. Remember? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, well, you've got definitely two unhappy people here um, in, in Dom and Jay. So. Um, expect some, I, I guess, some DMs. Really. Some DMs. Angry letters. I don't get DMs, so I love it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, thank you, Sean. Um, that's that's brilliant. Love you. See ya. You didn't say it back. What a bastard. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, so it's uh, there. You go. His tenth. His tenth shirt, and we'll get into uh, Paul as well. And Paul had this as he put it in fifth, which is not bad for a you know Scottish person, I guess. Um, 
Knight is Umbro stuff. He's just a winner in my eyes. Yeah. Um, it, I'll quickly just say, he mentioned that the United shirt. I think the United shirt's better than this. The grey one. I'm just going to say it. I'll leave that with you. Uh, moving on to our rankers. Uh, let's start with, who would like to go first? Does anyone want to talk on it? I'll go. Jay, I'll okay. Go. Because this was obviously your number one. Yeah. So tell us why Sean should be kicked off the show and never asked to the time. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that for a, a while. I feel like every time I've been on and he hasn't, there's been some mad decisions. It's <laughs> crazy. Uh, this shirt is one of England's greatest. It obviously comes with one of their saddest moments, which is peak. Um, but I weren't alive then, so that's fine. This, <laughs> this, is, this kit is fire. You know, the, the stripes, the pattern, the centralised badges. It has a bloody collar which is always great the fact that the collar just has this lovely hint of red in there just out of nowhere but it works perfectly it's baggy it's 90s it's everything i love in football kits i just don't understand his decision here <laughs> <laughs> and it's way better than the united one it's not. way better it's, it's definitely not. dom uh, let's come to you on it because uh, it was your second place shirt uh understandably again Sean upsetting the apple cat, throwing a few banana skins in there. Tell, tell us why, for you, it, it was the second best shirt on, on offer this week. Mate, he's been fermenting them apples and fucking drinking. <laughs> uh, he is pissed if he thinks this is last. Oh, come on. <laughs> I think the, the accent from the collar, which Jay rightly says, is delightful. He's on the shorts as well. Um, and whilst the top like the the shirt itself wasn't designed in mind for for wearing as a full kit it was designed specifically to wear to the pub so it's like green light obviously not for jay because he was unborn <laughs> and that's me <laughs> um but yeah i think i think because it was at this stage that they're then looking at well what can we do for fans to wear what can we do to to encourage fan and club like club country culture um that people could invest in funnily enough um which was a benefit to them um obviously it's one of the saddest moments in my life but the shirt itself i, I absolutely adore um and it will always remain like high on my list of top england shirts this one and i'm i'm bitterly disappointed in sean but Similarly, I'm not that surprised. <laughs> That's the sad thing. You, you know, it's shocking, but not yet surprising that something like this happens yeah. and we're asked, he's asked to rank, to rank shirts. And the thing is, he wouldn't even flip off on it. That's what makes it even hurt. You're oh. after hearing all these great, these great arguments. Jack, let's finish with you on, on this one because it was it was fifth on your list um, as well as as Paul. So obviously, not. I, I don't. I don't think he's supporting him as, as a national team, but. With a, with a grey shirt, you know, USA have had some wild ones. You think of the denim, denim looking shirt for England to have a grey shirt. Do you find that a little bit odd? And and what do you, what did you think of it in in general as a shirt? To be honest with you, I think I've confused my rankings because I I do like this one better than the England 2010 home, and maybe that's an, an easy way for me to save face. But like you said, that the kit's amazing just to just to wear a streetwear as something you wear to the pub. I don't like, I like this better than as the full kit. I think the shorts don't look like they really match. And with the number below the the England crest, I I don't know. It, it does match the collar and, and that piping on the shorts. But I think as a, as a full kit, it almost has too much going on. But as just the top, like you, like you guys said, I think it's one of the best England shirts. And, and I apologize for for lowering it in the rankings <laughs> yeah, you, you, you don't have to apologize for anything mate you've done nothing wrong fifth fifth place is a decent 10th is, is that's a crime against kits you know what i mean if, no 10th you, you can at least you can throw that out as the outlier maybe you should throw out the top and the the bottom because uh you have some unsavory customers you know who are just just messing with the rankings <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll, have, we'll have words i think we'll put it to our we'll put it to the the kit uh, committee, the kit community committee. Let's see, let's see what they say. You might be banned for life. You never know. One thing yeah, I have to say, I remember having it. It was so thin for the summer. You just did, it just felt like he was wearing nothing, which I won't do again because I got you know a lot of backlash last week. But yeah, that's what it felt like. 
<laughs> it was a great shirt to have. But there we go. Um, joint third, not gone down too well with, with a few of our rankers. 32 points overall. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> this week from our rankers. Right, two more shirts to go. Where are we going next? Uh, with 34 points overall. Little stint over in Italy for David Beckham. It is, of course, the 2008-2009 uh, home shirt. He did wear two different shirts uh, for uh, Milan, but I, I just picked the first one uh, that he wore in his first season. Uh, yeah, 34 points overall. Sean had this in third place. You may wonder, I expect to hear. Uh, Paul, <laughs> sorry. <coughs> Too much talking. And Paul Fitber shirts had it in second. Uh, hard not to love uh, an AC shirt. Clean and simple. Effortless, effortlessly cool, easy for me to say. I just think, why they ever went to Puma, I do not know. I just think Adidas and, and, and Milan were just a match made in kit heaven. It, it's a shame that they no longer are married and divorced and, and whatever you want to call it. Uh, and uh, just some stats quickly for David Beckham. So obviously... Two seasons in 08 or 09 this season. 18 appearances, two goals, nine assists. The next season, 17 uh, appearances, two goals and five assists. No, it's not It's not bad for an Asian, an Asian player, that's all, uh, with so little appearances. Going into our rankers then, Jay, uh, no, Dom, let's kick it off with you on this one. And you yeah, get, it, get, it, get it in seventh. Yeah, it's that marriage thing. This was, it's a victim of circumstance. It's like that familiarity breeds contempt because it because it it's had so many good kits ac it's like it had a like a, a trophy wife and it just got bored of looking at her and then and then once once he's got on with puma with oh god remember her she was so <laughs> now now you were the quirky crazy one who, who just goes off and leaves you for five days comes back and is that everything's fine you're thinking Oh, You're just rattling God. in a corner going, please don't make another kit. <laughs> Do you like this design for the third? Do you like this? Do you like... Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, I think there's just there's just ones that are a bit better for them. It's the, yeah. Inherently, there's nothing wrong with it at all. Um, they've got um, a good amount of stripes spaced evenly. Um, they could could have done something with the, with the sleeves. Maybe, but they, I don't feel they really needed to with the Adidas stripe that's being on there. But they had obviously the overlapping co um, V neck, and then they've had that collar variants, which aren't too dissimilar to this. But yeah, I think just a, a bit too plain to register too highly on my my list, unfortunately. No, that's absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine. Um, Jack, come to you next on this one because uh, you got it spot on this week, second place uh, as well. And just a, just a classic, simple. AC Milan shirt for you. Yeah, this is simplicity all across the board with the sponsor, the crest. I mean, maybe you could you could balance out the the badge with this the kit maker Adidas logo yeah. on the left opposite it, but nothing wrong with it. And I think it makes us makes us wish for that old era of AC Milan shirts. Yeah, for sure. Jay, finishing off with you. Uh, you got it up. You spot on with in terms of rankings with, with Jay uh, Dom this week. Seventh place. So what was kind of missing for you for this Milan shirt? Since you've been there, you, know, you make films about Milan. I thought this would be up your street. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, it's just the Adidas, mate. It's just the Adidas being over there and the, and the Milan badge being over there. They look a bit yeah. lost. There. It just it throws off the whole kit for me. Like, Yeah, it's a great, simple, lovely kit. But then the Adidas being there just that's what instantly throws it down to me. Like, and and yeah, I, that's the only bad thing I can say about it. Unfortunately, like everything else is bob on, but that and that's the only reason why it's down. Yeah. Well, fair enough, fair enough, mate. There we go. Then second place was this week the Milan 2008 2000 home shirt. Be Beckham had two loan spells during the off season uh, with the Galaxy. Obviously, he played against United for Milan in the Champions League, famously wearing a green and gold scarf. Uh, which was, was nice being there and seeing that as a United fan uh, at that time. But yeah, 34 points from our rankers this week, only pulling in second place. We've got one shirt left. Uh, I'm quite happy about this. Um, one point off from a full house. You can probably guess. Um, I think if you, do you know what? I, I'll, I'll say it now. It wasn't Sean. It wasn't Sean that did it. 
Uh, well, someone didn't score it in, in first place. So everyone else, everyone else did. And it is this, obviously. It's the Manchester United 92 to 94 home shirt. One of the greatest shirts in the Premier League era for me still today. Um, the reason I'm so annoyed retro has been closed over Bank Holiday because I wanted to have that in the bloody background. Or wearing. That would have been even better. Uh, but never, never mind. We'll just have to do another show with that shirt on, I'm afraid, guys. But no, so yeah, let's start with a person who didn't have it in, in number one. But it is a good reason why I didn't have it number one. It was Jay. Yeah, it was Jay. Uh, second place, though, I mean, you know, I think it was just the England shirt, being the England shirt, that stopped it from 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 getting top of your list then, Jay. Yeah, basically. I mean, it's a stunning shirt. I just think that the England one's just that tiny bit better. But that's not to say this kit isn't fire. Like, Everything Umbro, you know, what I mean, Umbro 90s has everything, has the color, has the geometric base on it. Um, the, the lace color is crazy. Yeah, it's just um, it's just a simply beautiful shirt. And I think it's definitely one of United's best, isn't it? Um, and like you said, it's, you know, it's great, but, you know, working with Retro and seeing these kits in person, you can actually see and feel like how beautiful they are. And like when you see that shiny base that's on it, it's like I think it's MUFC, isn't it, with the Umbro kind of diamond? It's yeah, just yeah. I mean, it is just done in the like the only reason why it isn't number one is because there was a better kit in the '96 England one. That's that's the only reason it was that good. Yeah. <clears throat> that's fair. Like yeah, so shout out the number one, uh, being a United fan. That's the reason why. And Paul fit the shirts. Number one, iconic. Love the sublimate in NUFC um, and the Geely style ties. Easy winner for, for Paul. Jack, uh, we'll come to you again. Number one. For you as well, it's just yeah. I hate I hate to do it, but it's a United shirt and it's amazing. You know, like like what everyone else said, the lace up collar, the sublimated design. It's just shiny. You I haven't felt it, but you just know how it's gonna feel. And they just don't make them like that anymore. And the sponsor's clean. You know, like looks great as a full kit as well. It does. No, it absolutely does. You know. I've saved him for last because I know he had that hairstyle back in the nineties. You can't even deny <laughs> he didn't have that hairstyle. Because I mean, me and you, Don, would have been quite young when this shirt was out. We definitely both had it. We definitely both had the collar up every time we wore it. For certain reasons, it just it, it, it was just never going to be any other shirt on this list that was going to be number one for you. No. Absolutely not. Rightly or wrongly, this is the shirt which kicked off um, football, <laughs> modern football as it's known, um, in the Premier League. Uh, the fact that obviously that season we'd we dominated, um, Cantona was flicking the collar up, everyone in school was doing it, um, loads more games were being televised and there was a lot more money pumped into the game so we saw a lot, a lot more uh, players that we wouldn't have expected to have seen prior to that point. So, um, you know, take take that, you know, the cynicism surrounding that and just think about being a kid at that age and watching, like, you, your heroes in this type of shirt and it being readily available as well um, and knowing that you and your mates had it, you go down the park, you pretend to be whoever and go, have you heard about this kid, this David Beckham? Um, but, yeah, it was, yeah, it's always been an amazing kit and I think... Um, the nod to like older football um, and the lace collars that they did for Sheffield United, uh, Chelsea had one as well that season. The away, um, Oldham yeah. Athletic had one. Um, yeah, I think I think it was a nice touch to you know kind of say, oh well, we're not just modern football. We can we can nod to the past, and I think it's it's you know it stayed the course really really well. Obviously, you couldn't do it now for health and safety. Um, <laughs> be the black the black touch on the collar only matching the long sleeve version um makes that even more desirable as well but uh yeah i think yeah it was only you know only going to be one number one for me and uh it was always going to be this one absolutely everything you say i absolutely echo in in spades it's just it takes me back to playing football all day long and, and Shouting Canton now as I spoon the ball over out, off the pitch. I mean, just went. look, and that's a beauty. That's why we love these little bits of fucking fabric. Yeah, it's mad. That's, isn't what, it? it's that's mad. what they do to us. It's a, it's a, it's a time travel device. It takes you back to better times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to worry about rising energy bills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or you know, 
people ranking shirts at 10. <laughs> we move on about that. We move on from that. But yeah, just to finish off, obviously Beckham, 394 appearances for United, 85 goals, 120 assists, six Premier League titles, two FA Cups, one Champions League, one F- uh, Super Cup, and one Intercontinental Cup as well. For David Beckham, I mean, you know what a, what a career he's had. You look at all the clubs he played for; he's definitely an icon. I seen something today uh, regarding Beckham, uh, and uh, someone tweeted saying. Which legend couldn't hack it in in the modern era? And they started with with Ryan Giggs, and we see Drogba, uh, which would annoy Jay. Uh, and D- Beckham was mentioned, and I think you know what? I think actually Beckham would absolutely smash it in this modern era of, of football. I think his skill set now it, it'd be perfect midfield. He won't he won't be on the wing. People think he'd, be, he'd play on the wing. I'm going to get into football now, but people think Beckham would play on the wing. He won't. He would be nowhere near the wing now. He'd be a central midfielder. Well, he'd, be, he'd be protected as well. Uh, meaning his distribution would be second to none. 100%. The only person I've seen come anywhere close to him is De Bruyne. Because yeah, I, I was literally going to say he would be a Kevin De Bruyne. His, his engine was crazy. He could get all that up and down that pitch. It, it, it'd be De Bruyne, you know. And, and I think, but just not ginger. But yeah. So <laughs> that being said, there's David Beckham shirts, everyone, and ten of his best shirts. From his career, or at least we think so. Number one here, one point off a full house with 49. Thank you for that, Jay. Um, but finishing off, everyone scores. Just so you know, I don't cheat. It's not something I feel is fair, so I don't do it. Uh, everyone scores. and Just so you know, look, there it is. Tenth place for England, everyone. Yay, go on, Sean. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, there we go. That is this week's episode in the bag. Thank you for joining us. Thank you to our guests for being here. Uh, Jack, thank you so much for spending the time with us, mate, and talking kit. It's been an absolute pleasure, mate. Yeah, thank you for having me on. It was really, actually, I, I don't always have podcasts where you have homework, but I like that you had to go in, <laughs> look at the shirts, kind of think about them, and and then contemplate why you made some of those decisions while you're being lambasted by your co-panelists here, which I don't know, I thought it was a great time. <laughs> You're welcome. Wait till, wait, wait till I ask you to do a Desert Island kit and you've got to pick five of your shirts, mate. That's even worse, let me tell you. So I'll pick I'll pick this one. This one will be spotted from an airplane. They'll pick me up immediately. <laughs> Genius. Don't give everything away. But yeah, no, where, where can people find you on the, the good old socials if you want to find see more of you? Yeah, you can you can find me across Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube at Jack Grimsey. Um I got the same handle everywhere I post. My video content pretty pretty similarly everywhere and hoping to expand into some longer content this year. I've got a lot of stuff that obviously I need to talk about, but have been restricted before. So yeah, hoping to expand and talk about more kits and hopefully I'll be even invited back someday. Oh mate, you're welcome here. Absolutely anytime. Thank you for joining. It's been an absolute pleasure. Someone uh, I know we've wanted to get on, so it's 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 good to tip that that goal off for sure. Uh, but yeah, make sure you go and follow him. Jack is he's, he's an amazing content uh, creator uh, and, and a great person to go and follow and, and be a part of his community. Speaking of great content creators, uh, let's speak about myself. No, I'm talking about Jay, obviously. <laughs> uh, Jay, you're doing wonderful things as always. I, 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 I kiss your bum when you're here, mate, to be fair. I do it in real life, to be fair. Not, no, I no, I mean, when I see you, not like I actually do. Like it. HR. <laughs> that would be weird. That would be weird. Uh, but no, what's going on with retro? And um, you know, shout out the socials as always, mate. It makes sense. Yeah, man. Thank you. No, thank you for having me on again. Always enjoy it. Um, yeah, retro football kits. We we sell retro football kits. It's a really unique and smart name. Um, <laughs> it says exactly what we do. Uh, we have a website, retrofootballkits.co.uk. Uh, some of the shirts you saw today, that that England one, the uh, the '92 United one, we have all of those. So make sure you check that out. And also, yeah, I make all the content. So I do the YouTube, the TikTok, all the, all the that good stuff, and we make content over there. Also, we're we're at um, a market in Manchester this weekend coming up. So if you're listening to this when you uh, and you're in Manchester, come down, say hello. Me and Double A will be there. Yeah, seventh. It is, isn't it? Indeed, yeah. On Sunday in Ancoats. Make sure you pop down. Don's going to be there. I can see it already. I am now. The only because I've just found out about it. <laughs> yeah, I need to push some promo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, make sure you head down. Come and see us. That would be uh, absolutely wicked. Don, mate, thank you for joining us all the way from Amsterdam. I can see there's a lady in the, the reflection there waiting for us to finish. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Hi, I don't know your name, but hello. Um, no, but what? Yeah, shout yourself out, Dom. Give yourself a bit of a plug, mate. Why not? It is Kit Kingdom yeah. or Kit Kingdom. Works on a couple of levels. Yeah. <laughs> um, on both Twitter and Insta. Um, but yeah, other than getting about for work and still wanting to tie in for stuff like this, because it is genuinely one of the best shows on YouTube, uh, as it is directly made by the community for the community as well. So um, I think the, the format itself is is second to none. Uh, and I'm always, always uh, honoured to be involved, uh, especially when we've got international guests on and people from rep reputable firms like Jay as well, uh, and you. Um, <laughs> so, you throw me in there, and you. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, uh, well uh, United's number one protester. I've seen him yeah. like at the front of one of them EDL rallies. Mate, honestly, okay. <laughs> I was loving it. And then this old geezer come next to me and he was like, he must have been about 104. And he's proper giving it. I was like, oh, I don't know, I was right next to him and everyone's taking pictures of him. I was like, I'm definitely going to be in some shots on the, the media now if I'm next to him. Come next to him like that. <laughs> um, no, thanks, mate. It's a pleasure to have you on and, and to be part of Talking Kit. You know, it's a, it's a great thing to have. Uh, but that's it from us. Another show is done and dusted. We'll be back for more Full Kit Rankers and Desert Island Kits as well. Coming very soon. If it's your first time talking kit, or maybe it's not, smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your kit-loving friends or anyone you think might enjoy it. And we'll see you very, very soon. But as always, whatever you do in love, in life, in hate, in lust, in venturing over to Amsterdam for a dirty weekend, just <laughs> whatever you do, make sure you keep talking kit. Thank you.